Oh, it's that time of the month. What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they released another dev update. This one is called Dealer Updated Weapons and Team View. Dealer is a map that we talked about in the previous update, but in case you missed it, Dealer is basically a co op map. I have no idea if there's going to be a multiplayer version of it, but if they're going to be anything like Swap 4, I'm sure there is going to be. A map that I was able to play, but unfortunately, I don't have the most updated map that these guys are showing off. So, yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead and hop into the newsletter. It starts off with saying, It's that time again, gang. Kind of just said that. Hey, everybody, Guinevere here. Here with another bi weekly newsletter. Last time we took a look at port dealer and our updated non static mag check UI and some destructible objects in the game's environment. This week we'll be going over some more level art, newly updated AR 180, which I believe is a new weapon, and a preview of our cooperative squad team view. Okay, cool. In case you're wondering what happened in the previous newsletter, I have a link to that video at the top right if you click on the eye icon. But let's move on here. The next thing it talks about is dealer. A stone knight fog rolls over the front lot of Caesar's cars, obfuscating the SWAT team that's just arrived. The boldly lettered lights of the dealer sign cut through the mist, illuminating the windshields below. The element of surprise is paramount, but so is speed. Move fast, hit them hard, and hit them where it hurts. You won't get a second chance to make an entrance, and once they know you're there, it's going to get loud. And then it shows a picture of two SWAT officers moving into the car dealership, which says, use cars, Caesar's cars. In the previous update, we actually saw that there was some sort of operation that was going on in the background. If I remember to put up the uh, photo that we saw, then uh, it should be here on the screen but there was like this weird like looking thing that i don't remember it being in the current version that we have like some sort of operation of uh narcotics or or maybe a bootlegger or something i don't know but it definitely makes the map interesting more interesting than it was before underneath the picture it says above a pair of officers watch each other's backs as they advance on the dealership row after row of cars buzzing lights and endless angles to cover on your way in are you the officer for the job hmm that's a very good question hope to answer that pretty soon i think the thing that i would like to know is just how much the map is really progress because if you look at the map from then until now you might actually see a major difference because it has been a while since it has been updated but the original version was very 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 early compared to the pictures that they're showing off moving on here we gotta look at a brand new weapon the ar-180 i believe that's how you say that correct me if i'm wrong because there ain't no gun nut, you know what I mean? but it says here at void interactive we're fortunate to have a team of incredibly talented artists and animators that bring different weapons to life for ready or not with this volume we wanted to showcase our most recent example example meet the ar 180 very gorgeous looking weapon i must say can't wait to use this puppy I'm just trying to name off all the stuff that's on here we got the micro t1 i believe laser pointer and i'm not sure what the heck that is on the left side is that is a uh, goggles right there i can't tell but underneath the picture it says above reloading the ar 180 note the laser optic and suppressor well i didn't even see the suppressor and this is a very tiny weapon this almost looks like an sfg i don't think i've ever seen this before maybe i have and i just don't know but anyways with this fully modernized ar 18 you'll be able to carry the legacy of a steroid firearm while maintaining peak performance the iconic charging handle and rugged reliability are paired with improved ergonomics and rails for mounting the accessories that any officer needs when you carry the ar-180 you'll be carrying a rifle that you can trust neat can't wait to try this bad boy out let's move on to the next thing here squad team view one of the most important elements of any cooperative experience will always be information simply put how much does the player have do they know the layout of the level do they know where potential enemies are and how many are they keeping track of their teammates information is a powerful tool and neglecting to gather and utilize it will result in a failure every time and ready or not an important source of the player's information comes from monitoring your fellow squad mates each officer has a head cam that helps to show their perspective better facilitating communications and understanding the reality of the tactical situation learn to switch perspectives from one teammate to another tracking the progress as you give commands and bring order to chaos so i'm taking a look at this picture that's underneath it here and it shows four different screens screens of players and i'm a bit confused here maybe the text underneath will help me out see the teams advance through individual head cams vision and final image expand for easier viewing i'm really trying to make sense of this like it kind of looks like they're showing us like multiple perspectives and each perspective has a what looks like a cam at the top right i'm assuming they're trying to be like what it was in swap 4 where if you just click a button somebody's head cam would pop up on the right side because the way that it works in ready or not is that you pull out a uh, 
tablet to see other people's head cams. That's how it usually works, but are they changing it up? I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it if they just decided to put it up at the top right. I'd honestly think that that would be a better choice into pulling out the tablet. Because in my opinion, the tablet is kind of uh, tedious because you basically drop your weapon to pull out a tablet to see where your friendly is. And it's kind of tedious. I almost never use it. Whereas in back in Swap 4, I would just click a button and have my buddy screen at the top right and I could flip through it whenever I wanted to while still having my gun out. So, I mean, this is definitely one of those things where I could definitely suspend my disbelief because I already kind of do that with the OptiWan. When the OptiWan doesn't exactly exist, I guess you could say the same thing about C2. And how often does SWAT just lockpick doors? Like, what? Even let alone just have a tool for that. They sooner break it down than gently unlock it. So, why not add that one to the list? I think the one thing that I noticed about Ready or Not is that they're starting to make things a little bit easier for the player because before, with a lot of things, like say the radio wheel, it used to be something that was a bit tedious to open up, but now it's just like you click one through seven on the keyboard and there, there's your weapon. So much easier, so much better. And this is just another one that I think would actually work out. But then again, this is kind of like one of those things from SWAT 4 where it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like they tried to experiment with something, but it's blatantly obvious that this one didn't need to be experimented with. So yeah, but I mean, I guess it's up to, you know, whatever they're trying to do here. While being able to see what your squad members do is an excellent tool, it's not a perfect one. Their point of view isn't exact. Each camera realistically displays what it would capture from where it's mounted on the helmet. The cameras would help to better emulate the SWAT experience of viewing what happens, what's happening to your team in real time from their perspectives. Headcams can help you direct your squad and improve the situation awareness, but they won't protect you from being careless. Be coordinated, be cautious, and you might just save some lives. So this is definitely interesting. I wonder what actually prompted them to uh, make this decision because I don't think there was too many people that was actually complaining about the uh, tablet version. I mean, I guess I could have seen that there wasn't a whole lot of people just using it. So they figured they want to make it uh, more simple. So they just probably just went the swap four route. Maybe, I don't know. But I mean, if they do decide to do the swap four route where they just have it at the top right, I am not opposed to that. I actually quite like that because it feels like it's more on the action. So if there's something that's going on and I'm watching it at the top right, I could like zoom in with the video to what's going on over there, you know, like I would do in swap four. But anyways, in conclusion, that brings us to the end of volume 11 of our bi-weekly newsletter. More dealer, the AR-180, and a look at what the game's cooperative team view UI will look like soon. Make sure to tune in next time for previews of what the team has been working on. And that's pretty much it. Another relatively short newsletter, but a welcome one. What are your guys' thoughts? Do you prefer, if this is what I think it is, do you prefer the cam being at the top right of the screen to pulling out your tablet? Honestly, I like the camera being at the top right, my honest opinion, but I get that it would make more sense to pull out a tablet. But what are your thoughts? Are you someone that's going to try out the AR-180 as soon as it decides to actually show its rear end? Or is it just not your type of gun? What are your thoughts on dealer? Is it a play on words? Dealer? Car dealership? Dealer because he's selling something that's not supposed to be sold? He deals in narcotics? Anyways, let me know what you think down below, because I'm going to end it here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know. You might find something that you like on the channel. I cover a lot of tactical games. You never know. You might find something that you like. Stick around. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.